This the life. This ain't the life, baby. Let's go on get into it. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta Season 3 Reunion Part 1. Numero uno, dos, tres, cuatro. I am not feeling this whole setup of Love and Hip Hop Reunion. Uh, it, it just it was out of element. It was just I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Um, the cast backstage shit. I thought it was unnecessary because maybe because it just didn't get to the shit that the nit and grit, like the shit that I really want to see. The meat and potatoes, not this other bullshit. Um, it, they just they showed too much. It showed too much. Let's go and start from the beginning. Um, Stevie J, you dressed up in your Georgia your money and you all dolled up and shit, but. You owe a million some dollars in child support. I'm not understanding. That doesn't make any sense. How you eating better than your kids? I've always been taught that your kids eat first, then you eat. But you know, that's that's none of my damn business. I need you to fix that. I need you to get it together. Some more. I love you to death, baby. You are funny. I remember growing up from watching you from... Uh, the Queens of Comedy. Y'all came to Memphis and recorded it. Loved it. But baby, you was reading that damn teleprompter and I thought you were you were some kin to Mayweather the way you were reading that shit. I can see your ass was reading the damn lines and shit. And it was just no life. Some more for you to be so much so funny. You had so much material. You had so much material to talk about. And I felt like have you been watching the show? Have they sent you the DVD for you to watch everything? Like, how can you not? You just seem like you didn't know. And, Mona Scott, I'm glad you have, you know, took yourself out from doing the damn, um, the, the hosting shit. But, I feel like you need to give something, give it to somebody who we follow on social media. Like, who be, who we pay attention to when it comes to the Twitter shit and all that type of shit because that's where it's at. Twitter is where it's at when it comes to watching shows. And I've, I, who's following some more? She doesn't have a presence right now. You need to get one of these damn bloggers to do it. Yeah, you don't even probably have to pay their ass. All you got to do is make sure they got a room to get their makeup and shit done or something. I mean, you can get one of these. All they want is the recognition. And you ain't, I mean, I just don't understand. You need to get one of them to do it. You can ask me, hell, I'll do it, baby. I'll be all up in this shit. But I just feel like, you know, it, it was some more just, she just was so dry. She was so damn dry. She had no presence at all. And I love some more to death. But she was just sitting there looking like a goddamn hefty fucking black garbage bag. Just sitting up there worthless. Needs to be taken out. Um, some more, I love you though. Um, Scrappy, I can look at you and tell that you are a very abusive man. The way you um, talk to women and the way you talk about women. You, when Erica Pinkett was coming at you and talking about something, she wouldn't give you none of the pink puss, your response, well, I can get pussy from any of these bitches out here. I'm like, also, oh, every woman is a bitch. I cannot stand to hear a man refer to women as a bitch. I hate it more than anything. I just hate it. I correct men all the time about that when I'm at work. All women are not bitches. You do not use the derogatory ass shit to to talk to women. They're not going. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, what else was going on? Um, the Bambi and Scrappy. I don't give a fuck about their relationship. We spent twenty minutes talking about Scrappy and Bambi and going through flashbacks. I know what y'all doing. Y'all trying to to weed this shit out, bitch. Y'all are giving me Harry Potter the end, the last book tease, and um, Hunger Games. This reunion can be wrapped up in really fucking 45 minutes, to be honest. Y'all could have did one hour and did another 15 goddamn minutes. This, sh Like, all these flashbacks, girl, we watched Love and Hip Hop. We've been paying attention to it. Y'all act like we've been, uh, like y'all had gone for too much. Y'all had pulled a scandal on us. Y'all had to catch us up. I don't need all the damn flashbacks. I hated the flashback. It pissed me off so bad. Um... I don't give a fuck about Scrap being love. He still ain't in love with the Bambi. Bambi ought to know that shit. She ain't, ain't none of them hoes in love. Everybody just here for a damn chick. Everybody here for some kind of presence, some kind of relevancy. Uh, that's all. Um, but Miss Miss Erica Dixon did give me some. She gave me everything when she pulled them damn receipts out of her titties. I don't know if she did. Or maybe it was my eyes. She pulled them out. I thought they came out of her dress or titties or something. And she started hitting them receipts, the hotel receipts. Yes, baby. Scrapper didn't know how to respond to my. He, he don't recall. I, I know. We went. 
We win. We ain't do nothing. We just you mean you need the hotel room so you went to sleep. First of all, why both of y'all grown asses are um at a hotel room? Like y'all ain't got no houses or no no like what I'm not understanding. That shit made no skin no sense at all. Then we got Mona Legba Scott. Baby, if y'all don't know that Mona has the power over she has more power on these people than their own goddamn parents. Get into how scrappy when she was talking to Scrappy, she told him to put his goddamn shit on and get dressed. Baby, Mama D came and talked to Scrappy like that without him putting his hand in her face. Baby, Mona Scott Young writes the checks and ain't nobody going to check for her motherfucking ass, baby. Ain't nobody going to check her ass. And baby, Mona, I understand, baby. I, I, Mona, I, that's, the kind of, that's the kind of, you know, shit I want. I want to be over some shit like that. That was cute. Um, What else was going on? Rashida and Kirk, I don't care. I don't even remember what y'all were talking about. I don't give a fuck about um, Kirk smashing her mom in the face. I mean, I just don't care about Rashida and Kirk. Um, me and my ex talked about this shit last year sometime. And his dumb ass kept on saying that Rashida and Kirk are the star, are the star of the show. No, they're not. No one cares about them. I just don't care. I really don't. She had a baby. whoop to do? I'm sick of her in that damn ponytail. I just want to pull that motherfucker. But anyway, what else was going on? Young Jock and Carla Rae, I'm still to this day trying to figure out how in the hell Carla Rae has this much, pr how much time she's getting on the show. I I, I don't understand that Carla Rae is every goddamn where. And Young Jock, you were doing the most. Um, you was describing how your finger got broke from um, Carla Rae sucking the damn your soul out there, motherfucker. You talking about it's not working? Yeah, she sucked some of your energy. You'll never get back. She sucked your chakra out your hand. You're not going to be able to get it back, honey. Um, you need to get Sonate to help you. That's a Naruto reference in case y'all don't know. But um, she was just fucked up. She was, uh, Carly, I mean, he was just fucked up. Young Jock, you kept, you were you were really doing the most on TV, and it really was not funny. All that jumping in them tight-ass pants and your pussy was showing. Like, because that would have looked like your pants were so tight, you like you had a pussy. You, I mean, you were hopping around, and, and Young Jock, I love those kind of outfits. I love your, like, I love how you dress, but you got a little weight on you, and that's nothing wrong, okay? I can't wear shit like that. I'm too thick. My booty too big. I, I be, I be looking like I got on some goddamn capris. I just can't do it. But you sit up here. I can't believe I just said that dumb ass shit. But um, you sit up here and had that shit on. I was just like Young Jock. Girl, you, I was looking at your ass like I wanted to claim on top. I mean, I just didn't understand that, young jock. I didn't, I, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Um, so we got, we got the damn, Mona Scott gave, what's the name? Oh, the lie detector test gave Scrappy, little Scrappy, a lie detector test. And come to find out the lies were, the, the, the lies were proven. And little Scrappy, you lied on your child. You said nothing happened and you said you put that on your child. How can you lie on your child about something so trivial, something so petty? You know you ate Erica Cat. You you've moved on. I mean, you, you ate it. You moved on sweeping it professionally. And Erica, for you to sit here and say you stopped the bitch, if he already eating your pussy, what else is there to discuss? He already started eating your shit. So what's the tea? You can't tell him to stop. Like girl, you should have been told him to stop before it even led to that. Sometimes you need a hotel room. Girl, you, I mean, there are plenty of cabs and, and plenty of limos and shit driving around Atlanta. You could have told him to take you home. Okay, child, then somebody said that old Shady didn't even have enough gas money to make it to the room. I'm no more good. Uh, what else was going on? Baby, we get to the damn end and finally the juicy shit. Look, what's his name? Stevie J and what's his name talking? Stevie J and Hosseline talking. There they going and they whispering shit. And do you hear Benzino said, but they were talking about some, Stevie J and Hoss Lee were talking about some, it's hot, we need some AC or some shit, I gotta go pee. Baby, next thing I, I hear Benzino say, well, that's that coke. Ooh, if that shit ain't true, because y'all know Stevie J does not play about his, when y'all be accusing him of these drug things. Y'all know, because when Dineva said something about it, when he posted that uh, article about how high Hosseline was in his studio recording on the Instagram shit, he DM'd him and said, um, stay in your lane. So you already know that shit is. He don't like folks talking about he a drug addict. You know, like folks don't, the truth hurts. Pretty hurts, truth hurts and all that type of shit, but they were probably high. Benzino said this shit, and she said, and Benzino started talking to my son, uh, what? What's up? What's up? Don't do that. Wait till the uh, wait till the security gone. We can do that outside. 
And Hosseline and Stevie J said, no, nah, bitch, we finna beat your ass right in here. And Hosseline started punching bitches in the face and started asking and taking names. I'm just, she didn't want to hear that shit. She did not. And what really got me is that the fact that Benzino, because I had to sit up for this shit. Benzino saw him coming towards him. And Benzino, you refuse to get your no neck ass up. There's no way in the hell somebody's going to walk up to me like they're going to fight. I'm going to sit down. Benzino, you look like a weak ass substitute teacher in North Memphis. You look like a weak ass fucking substitute teacher. Like you was like, mm-mm, mm-mm, don't do that. And they wasn't paying. They were still coming. And you, your neck got just as stiff. And you ain't do shit. Like, you you didn't do shit. Like, he was on your ass, girl. You said, no, nah, don't come. He had already halfway. He had already advanced, girl. It was time for you to stand your ground. Bitch, what's your... I'm just not understanding that shit. So, Hosseline punched Tammy. I mean, not Tammy. Up the ass. And Stevie J would come for Benzino. And his neck. They were coming. So, you know they what they did, VH1. They... Blacked out and start doing that camera. Ooh, I hate when y'all do that dumb ass shit. Can y'all stay fucking focused and let us see what the fuck is going on? Go on, pay them goddamn fines and let us see. Okay? Mona, you done gooped us again with this long ass goddamn reunion, bitch. I need to see the real tea, not this bullshit. Okay? But other than that, this reunion was boring. I actually fell asleep um halfway through because Kirk... Whoever who would put me to sleep? Little Scrap and, and Eric would put me to sleep, and then Kirk got on there and put me even more sleep. And Carla Red, I don't give a fuck about none of that asses. All the asses is boring, so I just didn't get it. But overall, it got better. Um, I hope that we see some shit go down. I feel like Hosseline just beating everybody ass. She she beat his ass, and then she got to fight with Mimi. You can tell me Mimi got popped because her shit, her dome was on the side of her her little her dome was cocked to the side, so this reunion might be a little bit turned up, because I really feel like this is going to be the last reunion, I don't feel like it's going to be another season, it's going to be a season four of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, I just really don't, if it is, it'll probably be a new cast, because we're bored, I'm going to tell you this, September 15th, Love and Hip Hop Hollywood is going to blow all the other Love and Hip Hop franchises out the damn water, because these people that we're actually seeing are people that we actually know had some shit and they're washed up. Nobody know who Carla Red is from just from motherfuckers telling us she was in Scream Teen or some shit on Sci-Fi. Um, who else? Nobody knew who the fuck Hosseline was. Nobody knew who Mimi was. I'm just not too much learning who Stevie J was, you know, and considering how much he done wrote and he done did all this. I don't know him. Who else? Um, everybody. I just don't know none of these folks. I never heard of Kirk. All I heard through Rashida from from um from what's that damn website that we used to download? Bear Share. Okay, when she had all the bubble gone. That's how I remember Rashida, but that's it. Everybody else is ir- irrelevant. But we got um fucking Ray J, Soldier Boy, um Marion and I mean, we know these folks. We know they washed up, so we can if, if they actually go to the studio, we can actually believe it. Feel like we got a little, a whole bunch of Kate Michelle's on there now. I can actually believe somebody's actually doing something when they're in the studio instead of making. I deserve, I deserve some new teeth. Cause baby, one of the motherfuckers was cocked to the side, baby. One of your teeth were missing, Miss Mama D. There's no reason for you have all this money. You had you're, you're in the crown, you you're in the, you're in the kingdom, but you ain't got no proper crown in your damn mouth. I'm gonna need you to get it together, get that crown, get that mouth together, baby. Ain't no reason why. You should be looking like the damn donk off of Shrek, and you got a whole side piece missing. I'm going to need you to uh, rectify the situation. What else was going on? Dad, when are you going to ever look decent on TV? You was on there, and Dustin had me screaming when he said you look like, uh, what's her name, from Harlem Nights. Baby, all I did was seen Deb with a with a damn lipid ass knife. Like she gave her a cut a goddamn butterball turkey. Talking about some, um, I'm, you shot me in my pinky toe. Now I got to cut you. So that was fun as hell. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hostling, I'm standing for you because you, I don't like to do all the talking. I like to fight. I love it. Hostling is consistently ratchet. I love it. I love it. I love it. She don't fuck all that shit. She want to fight. And they went in together. And that's all I got. I loved it. Um, Follow me on Twitter, JustinJ1232. Follow me on Instagram, JustinJ1232. 
Follow me on Facebook, Justin J1232. And I holla deuces. Bye. Pretty. Hi.